Hi, my name is Chioma Hall. I am a queer illustrator based out of Atlanta. And for the month of October, I have the great opportunity to work with the Adobe Fresco team to create a illustration of a beautiful black queer woman. Um, I wanted to take some time today to give you some tips and things that I learned in the process of um, transitioning from a background of traditionally working in watercolor to working digitally. I would say that the best thing that you can do for yourself is to work from what you know. Um, luckily enough, the Adobe Fresco app allows you to import images um, into your your doodle so that you may play around a little bit. Um, my first tip is to use layering to your advantage. Something that I found very extremely helpful. Sorry. Um, something that I found extremely helpful with layering was having the opportunity to test out different mediums to see what would work for me um, and what felt the most efficient. And I would create a new layer whenever I was moving on to a different point of the painting um, that I would traditionally like have reached a stopping point at if I was drawing it. Um, Second tip, import your past works, um, current studies, and anything that you are interested in experimenting with to, to test out ideas and to get a feel for how you feel working digitally. Um, this is really great, especially because you can, for instance, import an old painting and um, use that painting to create a completely new and digital um, color palette, um, which is really awesome. Two, oh, I'm sorry, three, I'd say third step or third tip to consider. Um, think about the external tools that you may need. I knew I was working um, with the app using the iPhone 11 and it was crucial to me to get a um, a little touch screen pen to be able to doodle because I just didn't trust being able to use my fingers. Um, the great thing about the app is that you are able to transition from your phone to your iPad to your computer if need be and so it's really about um, what digital surface do you want to work on? How much space do you need? Are you usually used to working on um, larger works? If so, maybe you want to use it on a tablet versus um, using it on the phone. But it's very good to consider. Um, and it's a great tool to have because in the event that um, you want to work on your thing during your day to day, you could always access it on your phone, review it, adapt, um, and come to it again. And then lastly, I would say something that's been crucial to me in not being hard on myself in this, in this process and in learning what does and does not work for me is to not feel pressure to share the work immediately before I feel comfortable or familiar with it. Um, I think that it's important to give yourself time to, to just figure things out, make the mistakes that you're going to and know that that's just a part of the creative process. Nothing is lost and everything can be gained from that moment. Um, and I'm just excited to even be able to to share it with you you know so yeah don't stress about it have fun with it and I think that 
there are so many tools available within the app that you can take advantage of that you can steadily start to change your art um or not change the art but transition it in a way that works for you Thank you.